So, you like peanuts and you like brittle, why not combine them and make peanut brittle? Uh, actually, wait, I think that's that's already in invented. Well, that's unfortunate. Hey guys, I'm Bethesda by Kai. I'm Kai. Today we're back once again taking a look at how to create this pixel art sword that I made. And we're going to be doing this super, super easily. What I want to talk about is five different stages, essentially, is, is what we're going to go through here. So the first stage is going to be this uh, this basic kind of color pixel art pass that we're doing, um, which looks really, really nice. And it's just basically trying to get down the base colors and the shapes. Um, so just completely solid colors, not no shading, nothing. And then we move on to the second piece, which is adding color or adding slightly more color onto the base that we already had maybe a couple designs so like i said i have the blood up at the top i have the rag down at the bottom you know a couple different colors and there's a little bit of a drip on the top and the rag is kind of like dripping off of the bottom as well then after that i do so i do like something with, which is what i call the uh the interior lines i guess so it's like anywhere where there's a different shape or a different object for instance the cloth i want that to be a little bit separate from the rest of the sword so I kind of create a darker line to indicate, hey, this is where this cloth ends and this is where the sword begins. The fourth step is going ahead and adding the darker colors. So it's kind of the, 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 the deeper shadows or just the shadows in general. So um, just grab, you know, whatever color you have, drop it down a little bit, desaturate it a little bit, and then boom, you have yourself a nice little, uh, a nice little shadow. Um, you can either drag it, you can hue shift it either to the left or to the right, depending on if it's a cool color or a warm color. Um, I won't get into the super color technique stuff in this video, but I'll definitely make a separate video about color again. I want to make an updated one anyway. Um, then we have the final the final pass here, which is the fifth pass, which is adding the highlights and any um, and any things that make just the image just pop. So it's the highlights. Um, this could be final touches like the little dots that you see around, like the little pieces of the broken sword, um, the blood bits dropping off the the top there. Anything that makes the image pop, um, like I said, including highlights. Uh, extra pixels it's like the final pass if you think you need to do anything else if you think you want something this is the stage where you do it um, but yeah so it's super simple when you break it down like that i hope you guys learned something new um, i will see you in the next one i will be doing a color tutorial in the very near future so just keep an eye out for that but until then <laughs>